Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you, uh, talking all about the uh, July 1st edition of uh, TNA Impact, which comes up tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a big show. It's honestly, debatably, going to be bigger than Slammiversary was. A lot of people looked at Slammiversary like it was one of the last shows uh, that TNA Impact was going to be doing. Of course, uh, um, you know, of course, calendar-wise, it, it might have been the last show they had done, but with this show uh, being taped earlier on in the week. Um, you know, spoilers have already been out. This video, for the most part, will be spoiler-free. I'm um, just talking about the matches that will be coming up, but uh, who knows? Uh, all might go out the window. So if you're trying to be spoiler-free for TNA Impact, this might not be the video for you. Uh, but tomorrow's show is going to have the uh, three-way uh, between the Dollhouse, uh, the leader being Terrence Rell with their championship going up against Kong and Brooke. Uh, you're going to see Drew Galloway's group going up uh, uh, up against the uh, the Beatdown Clan, with um, you know the losers group has to disband and they'll no longer uh, be able to be a team. And from there, they also have your TNA World Heavyweight Champion Kurt Angle, who was not at Slammiversary, who is at Disney World with his kids uh, during the show. Um, you know, putting his championship on the line up against EC3. Of course, this was supposed to be the main event of Slammiversary this year. Um, this was supposed to be the event that brought in all the money instead of going with the King of the Mountain uh, title for the uh, the main event with Jeff Jarrett making his return to the company. Uh, of course, once they decided to move, they needed to find something that they could do and something that would keep the people's interest coming out of Slammiversary. And um, they ended up going with the Global Force uh, Jeff Jarrett storyline, which will ho hopefully lead to some sort of an invasion. But my whole thing is, uh, you know, this is three big matches. Um, I don't think people are really going to be tuning in to see the the Knockouts Championship match. I, I love Taron Terrell. Uh, I just don't believe um, that that's going to be a match that really makes a difference to people watching Impact tomorrow night. Um, Kurt Angle. Uh, wrestling in what could be his last wrestling match of his career. Um, Kurt Angle basically said that, uh, you know, this was going to be his last year in wrestling. Since then, he's gone back on his word a little bit, saying that maybe he has two years uh, left in the tank and he's going to be wrestling for um, as long as he can. You know, that he wants to make as much money as he can because... Uh, with the way his body's held up, I know that he's gotten a, a little bit into acting. He's got some minor roles and things like that. But uh, once wrestling draws up, um, you know, what is really going to be left for Kurt Angle to be making money? Kurt Angle had that food company, um, you know, a couple of years ago that, I guess, went south. And, and he's not doing that anymore. Angle Foods uh, for people trying to eat healthy and things like that. But, uh, um, you know, he's got um, some production companies and things like that. But, uh you know, wrestling has been the bread and butter since the uh, the Olympics uh, dried up. You know, they tried doing uh, like the he, he was doing local news, but he was doing the sports uh, you know, talk uh, of the day pretty much. And then he ended up getting into wrestling and becoming one of the fastest learners and, and one of the best wrestlers of all time. Uh, he's going to be putting his championship up on the line against EC3. The news came out this week that he has a tumor in his neck uh, that he's got to be taken out and. Who knows if we're on borrowed time with Kurt Angle. It's only smart that uh, TNA um, decided to have him uh, drop the championship um, before all this went down. Because, you know, with how, I guess, comical uh, the TNA tag team division has been this year. Um, it's been injury after injury. Um, you know, once they put the belt on somebody that's taken them out and they have to have some sort of way of, of crowning a new champion. They did the tag title tournament, which was won by the Hardys. And as almost as soon as the Hardys won the tag titles, um, Jeff Hardy broke his leg in a motorcycle accident. And uh, they finally, they came up with a really good idea, you know, with that best of five series. Uh, that's going to be on, on this show as well, with uh, the Dirty Heels going up against the Wolves. Uh, that's it. Going to be a 30 minute Iron Man match. So I guess that's going to be a quarter of the show all on its own. Bobby Roode, Austin Aries um, getting in there and, and uh, going up against uh, Davey Richards and Eddie Edwards. But, um, you know, this could be Kurt Angle's last match. Um, who knows if he's going to be able to come back and he's going to be able to return. EC3, is he the right guy uh, for TNA to put the championship on moving into the uh, next, you know, sort of movement? of uh, them honestly in my mind when I think about it and uh, you know Jeff Hardy's on the shelf and he's hurt uh you got uh, Austin Aries who just left um James Storm just left Samoa Joe's in uh TNA 
Um, oh, it's, I apologize. Samoa Joe is in NXT. Um, you've got uh, AJ Styles wrestling for New Japan. Uh, Sting under WWE. Um, you know, the, I'm trying to go through all of the, the former champions that they've had. There's not a lot of main event guys left out there. And, uh, you know, you know, the word is that Bully Ray's come back and he's going to be some sort of a commissioner. Um, and uh, he, I don't know if that's going to lead to him wrestling somewhere down the road during some big show or if it's just going to be a pay-per appearance. There's Bully Ray. Um, and that's about it. I'm not sure. But it sort of reminds me, honestly, of when ECW was going through its last few days. Um, you know, the ECW champion was either like Steve Carino or it was um, just incredible. It just was, you know, names, but it just wasn't the big name to really draw you in. Um, to, to, to say like, man, I, I'm glad that I watched TNA Impact Wrestling. I mean, if you've watched it over the, what is it, two years that EC3 has been in there, he's a, he's a hell of a worker. He's just not a name that, that draws a lot of eyes and a lot of viewers. And, uh, I'm sure he's a nice guy and he's a good guy. He just, I don't know if he's the right guy to be sitting on top of TNA. TNA tried, uh, the experiment with Eric Young, um, thinking that maybe he would bring some people in with people that were, were fans of his reality show, um, that he was hunting and fishing and, and doing things like that. And, um, he went for a while and then finally they took the championship off of him and it didn't work, but they kept him sort of in that main event scene. Um, EC3 has been building up this, um, undefeated streak for two years and a lot like, you know, what it was doing with Rusev is like, what is EC3 going to be worth once that undefeated streak is finally done? I know that, you know, TNA has plans of bringing back Dixie Carter, um, seeing how, you know, they have the relationship going on between the two and, um, that's supposed to be, you know, what the next big storyline is for um, TNA. I, I know that EC3 is a is a heel, and Dixie Carter aligning herself with that, with that is, would, you know, make herself a heel. But at the same time, there's lots of talks of this global force wrestling invasion that's going to be going down. And with that, are you going to make them baby faces going up against the heel group, or are you going to keep TNA as the heels? And Global Force Wrestling is the baby faces, which doesn't make any sense with Destination Air America rumored to be having, you know, their hand on the plug, ready to yank it out of the wall, um, killing off TNA, and then you're left with Global Force Wrestling looking for a television deal, just sitting there waiting to pick up the pieces because they've been getting over as baby faces on your own television. It's just one of those things I could see in in the death of TNA book that could be coming up around the corner. Um, so, I don't know. T tomorrow's going to be a big show for TNA. I just wonder if people are going to be tuning in or if people really looked at Slammiversary as a goodbye show and uh, they're just not really going to worry about what happens on TNA for the next foreseeable weeks. There's lots of wrestling on tomorrow from uh, Lucha Underground, uh, NXT, um, you've got uh, SmackDown if you live in Canada, um, you've got Impact, so you have lots of choices to choose from. Um, it just matters what you choose, and we'll see what goes down tomorrow. EC3 against Angle, TNA World Heavyweight Championship on the line.